Uh, and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Would you like your vector attacked by a face shifting envelope? Oh no. Pedal show, my name is Gabor. The worst sci fi show ever. Hey, yeah. welcome. I'm Alex. We're going to check out this way huge pedal today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Thumbs up, ding the bell, all that influence YouTube stuff. Yes, yes. Let us influence you. Yeah. <laughs> influence. Uh, and I just want to mention right from the start, while we influence you, that this is being influenced to you by the good folks at Jim Dunlop Way Huge Australia who send it to us. So this is what you would call a sponsored video of influence. Cool. So, uh, so the attack vector, phase, phaser and envelope, Alex. Yo. Uh, what, what, I heard you say, what is it? Sure. <laughs> Let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. Um, basically, it's two things in one that you can then combine. So you have on the left side, you have a phaser. Uh, with a speed and feedback control. On the right side, you have an envelope filter with a range and sensitivity control. Yep. You have a little switch in the middle, up, phaser, down envelope. But then you also have a middle position where you <laughs> fuse the two. <laughs> you have, you have oh, a, so lame. a phase envelope. Phase envelope. An env envaser. Oh. Yeah. We'll work, work on the name. Uh, so to hear the... Phase envelope. We're going through a Moss Electronics <laughs> Amp Switcher, OTS Mini 20 heads, headset clean, two notes torpedo cap decks for the cab sim. And some reverb there too. Uh, okay. Uh, do you want, how about, how about uh, you start with the phaser? Sure. I get enveloped. Yep. And then we both attack vector ourselves. Sure. So attack it, our vectors. I know. <laughs> it does sound uncomfortable. It's pretty simple controls and it's also very quite straightforward. So there's a speed and a feedback for the phaser. Yeah, so we're going to up position our little switch. And we're clean tone. Clean tone. Dance. Sorry, go. It's another one of those ones where you can you can hardly get a wrong sound out of it. So feedback is sensitive. Is to is to uh, um, intensity. Intensity. God. Yeah. Is that yeah. What you're looking for? yeah. That's the intensity. Yeah. So how 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 much phaser you have? Uh, yeah. As you go all the way up, it turns into a sort of semi metallic y kind of thing. Um, cool. Speed is a speed. Uh, Till you sort of at about like three o'clock, even four o'clock, it's pretty usable. Above it, it goes quite fast. But I mean if that's your thing. Um, I really like it. It's a nice phaser, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so something cool. like, even just both at, at 12 o'clock, it sounded really nice. to get funky done it done it you, you, it's done it exactly yeah done uh, it. all right i'll do envelope filter same thing so you flick the little switch down uh range and sensitivity so sensitivity is how hard you hit until it opens up the filter and a range is how much there is of the filter um and my clean sound on this oh this is the Vandercaster, and you can watch a video for it here with some uh, lovely 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 mr glenn's pickups from new zealand uh, i'm going to start off on the neck on the tui Okay. Which is a sort of, it's a high powered kind of strat style pickup. And then I might go to the bridge 
which is a cloud now nine, which I love this pickup. But on the uh, second position, which is the uh, running the two coils in parallel. Par position. You're out of control. I'm way out of control. And it's got a Vega trim too, which is awesome. A uh, Vanda guitar body. But watch the video that's linked down below as well. And the clean sound uh, is such. Envelope my filter, Alex. <laughs> or oh, spicy. <laughs> or filter my envelope. Nope. <laughs> Let's go to the crazy position, pick a uh, bridge pickup. thing if you go to drive channel i always find with with envelope filters and you play softly and you get that yeah. sort of in in between Sensitivity down. Envelope filter. I think we should marry the two sides. Should we? Yeah. Marry them. <laughs> so if we just stick all the controls, I don't know, just up and down. And hope for the best. in the middle. Let's hope for the best. Hope for the best. <laughs> so we've got the the phaser in the background there. And then the envelope filter opening as yeah. you as you hear the phaser in the background. <laughs> You can probably hear it better if you do that. Let's let's do this a little bit of that. Wow, you can hear that.
It's cool. It's an intre- It's an unusual effect. It's kind of this cool lo-fi thing for a, a, like a verse or a bridge or something. Intro. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a play? Have a fiddle? I fiddle in the vector. <laughs> All right. Settle down the. Uh, don't settle things down. down. A bit too much vector. Don't you don't. to do with it but it's cool it's interesting sounds yeah, yeah. It's, it's unusual I mean I've heard, I mean there, there's have been um, envelope controlled flanges and phases sure where you you actually control the either the the, the depth of it you know how the, the, in, the intensity of it yep. with an envelope but actually having the two simultaneously in one pedal that's I don't think I've has that has anyone done that before? Anything like that before? It is a different sort of thing. It's it's mm. interesting. It kind of just leaves it open to like future space funk. <laughs> it's kind of like a, oh, Bootsy Collins is going to definitely get one of oh, those. Stacks. <laughs> Actually, bass could be interesting on that. True. So, who wants to see a bass video of this? I think it's cool. It's an interesting pedal. Future Space Funk. Future Space Funk. Heard it here first. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> By the the inventor of Future Space Funk. Goli. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think of the Attack Vector? Yeah. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Um, do you have one of those? Is it based on something else? Did Way Huge have, a, have one of those years ago? Or is this like a new thing? Or? I don't know. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below. I'm not a mass- massive. Um, I don't have much hi- knowledge. Historian. No, when it comes to way huge. Uh, this whole series is made out of really good, like folded steel. So there's no quality build. Quality's or... great, and it all they always sound good. They always. I'm, I'm I'm a fan. I'll put yeah, up a, a like whole was... playlist of all the yep. um, Jim Dunlop way huge stuff at the end of this video. Yeah, if you're in a uh, mad space future funk band, this is the box for you. <laughs> Comments below, also links below to socials and podcasts and all that good stuff. Yeah, 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 please do. And a uh, big thank you once again to the awesome people at Jim Dunlop, Way Huge Australia, for sending this out to us. Thank you, Mr. Jim and, and Mr. Way. The, by the way, the Jim Dunlop strings we're using on our guitars as well. Yep. So, uh, you know, check out, there's a string video we did. Hear that? Here. That's Jim Dunlop. Jim. Thanks for hanging. Thanks, we'll Jim. See you soon. Bye, Jim. Catch you.